Well, I don't think anybody should be looking for any bombshells. There won't be a document pointing to a second gunman in Dallas. I, I think all of the most credible evidence we've had all these years shows that uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was the gunman in Dealey Plaza and almost certainly the lone gunman. But I think there is a real question as to whether or not other people knew he was going to do this and encouraged him to do this. You know, he was not the pure lone wolf that the U.S. government tried to portray him as. Uh, to my mind, this has always been sort of the, the secret chapter of the Kennedy assassination drama. Why did Lee Harvey Oswald, you know, who was a self-proclaimed Marxist, a champion of Castro's revolution, go to Mexico City just several weeks before the assassination, where he met with Cuban spies and Russian spies and other people who at the height of the Cold War might have wanted to see Kennedy dead? There is evidence out there that Oswald, while he's in Mexico City, openly talked about killing Kennedy. And the question becomes whether or not any of those people offered to help him or gave him encouragement or offered to help him escape after the assassination. And it's very clear that the United States government never wanted to get to the bottom of that because if they had, it would have exposed just how much more the government had known about the assassin before the assassination. The question has always been, what more did the CIA know about Oswald in real time just several weeks before the assassination? It's going to take, you know, weeks or months or even years to really understand these documents. You know, they'll, they'll be filled with CIA and FBI code names and pseudonyms and a lot of jargon that people just aren't, aren't going to be able to understand. Uh, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of pages of documents. This is going to take a long while.